2018 is gearing up to be one of the best years for new roller coasters in the amusement industry. We have some fantastic rides coming, so today what I have for you is counting down the most anticipated new roller coasters of 2018, and for simplicity, we are sticking with the Americas for this. Staying inside the United States, now one thing I do want to clarify is that this is most anticipated, not necessarily ranking what is going to be the better ride, because the fact of the matter is, we aren't going to know which ride will be better until we actually ride it and experience it. We can't judge strictly based off of the animations. So instead, what I have is ranking them in terms of what rides we should be most excited for. What rides are we going to be further anticipating? Obviously, if you have one of these roller coasters closer to you based off of where you live, you're probably going to be anticipating that more than some of the others. But as an amusement industry, these are the rides that we are going to be the most excited about. So let's waste no more time and get into this. Coming in at number 10 is Electric Eel going to SeaWorld San Diego. This is a Skyrocket 2 by Premier Rides. You may have ridden some of these, such as Sky Scream at Holiday Park in Germany, the original Superman at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, Phobia at Lake Compounds, etc, etc. This is going to be the exact same ride layout, and it'll be most similar to Tempesto at Busch Gardens because it will feature that over-the-shoulder harness that Tempesto has. So if you've ridden Tempesto, that is going to be the exact same ride experience as what you'll get with Electric Eel. But it's still going to be a good fit for SeaWorld San Diego. Next up, we have Oscar's Wacky Taxi. And while this is a smaller family-based ride, it's going to be the largest coaster for Sesame Place. It really kind of puts it on the map, and a lot of people are going to start making a trip out to this park so that they can go ride it, because now they have a big ride that the enthusiasts will want to experience. It's going to be focused on airtime, it's not going to be too big, but it's still going to be a fun ride. Number 8 is Tantrum at Darien Lake. And this is exciting because this park hasn't received a new roller coaster in a long time, and while this ride is a clone, it is a clone of Iron Shark at Galveston Pier in Texas, it was kind of a surprise move by Darien Lake, and so I think a lot of people are going to be excited that this park is finally getting a good size attraction. It'll go upside down, feature a beyond vertical drop, vertical lift hill. It won't be the longest ride in the world, but it's going to be a solid addition to this park. Number 7 brings us hang time at Knott's Berry Farm. Like Darien Lake, Knott's hasn't received a big roller coaster in quite a while. This is replacing Boomerang, and this is a Gerslauer dive coaster, the first of its kind technically in the world. It's going to feature several inversions, and it's going to look great, especially at night when it has this amazing light package. It's going to be a great ride to watch, and probably an even better ride ride to experience. Just barely missing the top five is Twitz's Cyclone at Six Flags Over Georgia. This is an RMC redo of Georgia Cyclone. The new ride will include lots of brand new elements. The marquee one is the Reverse Cobra Roll, which is a brand new element. It's two inversions back to back. Very cool. It also has this massive wave turn going over the side of the structure that is very cool looking. I think that's going to be a highlight part of the ride. And like a lot of these RMCs, it's going to have some great airtime moments, couple of inversions, lots of bank turns. And while it is on the shorter side, it's still going to be a fantastic fit for this park. And I think a lot of people will find it to be the best coaster at Six Flags Over Georgia. We've made it to our top five. And number five is Railblazer, going to California's Great America. What makes this ride cool is, is the new RMC Single Rail Raptor Track, one of two coming this year, and it's going to have some awesome rock work going on at the bottom. So the theming is going to be very cool. And this ride is not to be confused with Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster coming in at number 4. Now some people may say, well hold on, Railblazer looks to be more themed and a better looking ride even though they're going to provide the same experience in terms of layout. They are mirror images of each other, so why is Railblazer not as high as Wonder Woman? And the reason for that is because this list is ranking the most anticipated new rides, not the best. Railblazer likely will be a better experience than Wonder Woman because of that theming, however, Six Flags Fiesta Texas is confirmed to be opening Wonder Woman before Railblazer. Up until this point, we have no idea what the Raptor track is going to be like. We don't know if it's going to be a bust or if it's going to be the greatest thing ever. So, I think we are more looking forward to experiencing the Raptor that will come out first, which is going to be Wonder Woman, which is why I have placed Wonder Woman higher than Railblazer. Because as soon as we know what Wonder Woman is like, we'll be able to know what Railblazer will be like. So now we are at our top three. Taking the third spot is Twisted Timbers going to King's Dominion. It's been eight years since King's Dominion has received a new roller coaster, and this one is not going to disappoint. They have transformed Hurler into an RMC hybrid. It's going to have 20 airtime moments, a barrel roll drop, a total of three inversions, it's going to be a nice long ride. Out of all of these coasters, this is the one I personally am more excited for. 
However, as an industry, I think there's going to be a couple more rides that people are going to be looking forward to in general more than Twisted Timbers. That being said, I think the Twisted Timbers in particular will be a better ride than I think a lot of people are expecting. I've said for a while that Twisted Timbers is going to be the sleeper hit of 2018, and while it still is highly anticipated, I think Twisted Timbers is going to be an excellent ride. Taking the number two spot is Time Traveler, going to Silver Dollar City. And here's why this ride is more anticipated, because we have not seen something like this before. It is a brand new concept. They are making an extreme spinning coaster, a spinning coaster that goes upside down, features a vertical drop. It also uses the terrain incredibly well. Straight out of the station is a vertical drop. That is incredible. There's also a total of two launches. This is going to be a very neat ride experience, and it's going to be excellently themed. Silver Dollar City has a, done a great job with this. The ride looks absolutely amazing. I think Time Traveler is going to be a ride that a lot of people should be looking forward to. So that leaves our number one roller coaster for coming out in 2018. And by far, this is the most anticipated ride of 2018. Doesn't even come close. Steel Vengeance going to Cedar Point. People have been talking about RMCing Mean Streak for ages. Ever since RMC came along, people said that they should do Mean Streak. So I think in a lot of people's opinions, this is the most anticipated ride in probably the past five years, maybe even more. And the layout does not disappoint. They'll have more airtime on it than any other coaster in the world. It'll feature four inversions and is the tallest RMC hybrid out there at over 200 feet in height. It is absolutely ridiculous. This is the ride to experience in 2018. So that caps off this list. Let me know what you think of it. If you disagree with some of it, you can post all those thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, stay tuned for more countdowns coming soon to Coaster Studios. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you guys later.